Hello, my name is Avian Bisik. I am a BAEPD undergrad with a concentration in landscape architecture. Today I'm going to be talking about tactical urbanism and why it can be important to Albuquerque. Tactical urbanism is a way for normal citizens to take ownership over their built environment. Temporary solutions or demonstrations are implemented to inspire an end goal, such as more walkable streets and access to public green space. The levels of formality of these projects can vary. Here is a very informal solution to a common problem, which is an unsafe bike lane. It is done using spray paint and cardboard, but you can see that the community is organized and is bonding. This is a more formal example done by the firm Street Plans, which takes on planning projects and engages with the public by offering information about how to start a tactical urban project. This is another example by the firm which demonstrates how streets can be used to serve people rather than cars. This sort of temporary project allows the community to view their public space in a different way that may inspire them to take more agency over it. This is similar to a yearly project called Parking Day. Across the globe, firms, schools, and civilians are encouraged to participate by creating a pocket park within a paid parking space. UNM Landscape Architecture Studios have done this in previous years. Last year, there was a pocket park in front of Satellite Coffee on Central, where anyone could sit and enjoy the area. I think these types of demonstrations are very accessible because they don't need to be set in stone. In Albuquerque, a lot of walkable areas such as Uptown, El Vado, and Sawmill are owned by private investors for the most part. This is not a bad thing, but as our city densifies and is revitalized, it could send the message that you have to pay to enjoy a safe, occupied space. I think that if neighborhoods in Albuquerque could begin to address their common problems, then they could begin to build a strong, sustainable community and create a distinctive identity for themselves that is separate from privatization. Here are my sources and my image citations. Thank you.